Hey guys, Cat back with you for another episode of Unchained with the Captain. Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, kind of a theory I, I had about uh, superhero movies. I, I love superhero movies, you know, like Avengers, you know, uh, Superman, Batman, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I, I love shit like that. Um, but I, I'm finding that there's a bit of a formula to some of these movies, uh, and, and here it goes. I'll just spit it out. Um, Okay, so the first movie you get uh, you get your origin story. Okay, that's pretty boilerplate. Um, you know, that's what you expect. And a lot of times in the second movie, the the hero loses his powers um, for one reason or another and has to struggle with that. That's you know, that's the thing. And then the third movie usually sucks balls. So uh, yeah, you might be saying, uh, Cap, uh, you should cite some examples. So I will. Be patient. Jesus Christ. Okay, so uh, Spider-Man comes to mind. Um, first movie, you get the origin story, of course. Second one, he loses his superpowers and has to get them back. They do that whole thing. And the third one sucks. Um, just think about uh, Tobey Maguire doing his dancing scenes and you know, tell me that's not a shit movie. Okay, that's garbage. Superman's another good example. Uh, before we even get into that, uh, like uh, going off on a tangent a little bit here, but man, I really hate it when people call Superman soups. I I, I don't know why. It, it just it does. I, I hate it. I think it's fucking stupid. So yeah, okay, Superman one. Uh, I'm talking about the one that came, not the new one. Uh, the one that came out in '78. I think it was the first one. Okay, so yeah, okay, all right. Uh, first one, you know, we learn where he comes from, Krypton. Okay, we got that. All right. And then you got the second movie, and he, he gives up his superpowers for Margot Ketter, which, what? I mean, Superman, he could get any chick on the planet he wants, you know, and he's going for Margot Ketter? That's that's kind of fucked up. That's, that's, that's poor decision-making um, on his part. And, the, you know, the third movie sucks, but not as bad as the fourth one, which is up there with Batman and Robin. Ah, terrible. And I would even say RoboCop is another good example of this. Um, although RoboCop isn't technically a superhero, he's not exactly human. He's superhuman. So I mean, we can go with that. Um, but yeah, you get the you know you get the origin story. You know he becomes RoboCop. Second movie, they, they he gets cut up into pieces and they put them back together and then they reprogram them with a bunch of bullshit and you know and eventually he, he becomes RoboCop again you know it's, um, yeah, and the third movie blows uh, you know it wasn't even Peter Weller it was some other guy Robert or something like that something like that well so yeah then I hear that uh, this is a side note um, that uh, Nancy Allen the only, the only way she'd be in the movie is if they killed her character off in the first 20 minutes, which is exactly what they did. So, yeah, uh, and that's a little bit of trivia for you. But, you know, I, I feel like RoboCop fits into this uh, this formula, you know, pretty good. Um, yeah, I would also say that uh, the Iron Man movies fall into this pretty well. Um, you get the origin story, you know. Then in the second one, you know, it's not like he loses powers, but he's he's dying and he's become pretty much like a hopeless drunk, you know, until you know Nick Fury you know shows him oh, here's how you fix yourself. Okay, so and then again, you know, the third movie I didn't care for, you know, a lot of people didn't, um, you know, the whole Mandarin thing, blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, I, I I liked about the first 20, 25 minutes of Iron Man three, and after that it was just mostly crap in my opinion. So Thor kind of does this in an ass backwards kind of way. Uh, first movie, you don't get an origin story. He's just Thor, and he loses his powers, and he gets them back by the end of the movie. And, I don't know, the second movie was all right. So what's next? Is Hollywood going to keep following this trend? Is, does Captain America lose his powers in The Winter Soldier? Will Superman lose his powers in Man of Steel 2 and get the shit beat out of him by Batman? Actually... That'd be kind of cool. I would love to see that.
Okay, so you guys agree with my assertions? Uh, are there any movies I missed that follow this formula? Uh, leave your comments below and let me know. I'm the captain, and you guys take it easy. Bye.